Barrichello as well. The track is very different now though in 2020. 3.05 miles long and for the first time in the Position to dive down the inside, but Trulli's going to cover it. Yes, it's not close enough once again, and Trulli, you can see, he's driving the wheels off that Renault to stay in front of Schumacher. You can see the car twitching around. Look at the speed differential through the right-hander there at turn 14. But unless Michael can find a good exit... He's got a good chance because Trulli didn't do a good exit on 15. Michael's got the run of 16. He's got the horsepower. He might take a chance. Truly will defend, but just watch oh, Schumacher, oh, here he oh, comes, oh, can he get down the inside, yes, 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 <laughs> oh, 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 I thought there was going to be contact there, but they managed to sort it out, but look at this, it's now put Michael under attack from Montoya, because Michael Schumacher lost ground, oh, and Truly's locking up, Montoya taking that wider line, but Michael, oh, and again he makes the mistake there. Well, he doesn't learn the first time, and he certainly didn't learn the second time, Montoya got the momentum back up, but this battle for second place is going on, and yet again, he tried to take that wide line to give him position. So that when he comes through four out of five and into turn six, he could be in position to challenge. Hello. Here's the view head on. <laughs> Schumacher is thinking, well, I will, I will, I will. No, he just cuts me off. Good motor racing, Formula One. Good racing from the two of them, yes, absolutely. Commitment from both Trulli and Schumacher, but this is still allowing Coulthard to get away. Four and a half seconds is David Coulthard's lead here. Trulli in second place, Michael Schumacher in third, then it's Montoya. Eddie Irvine is still in fifth place. He's dropped about six seconds off this battle that we're watching as Michael closes up to Trulli once again. The big problem for Michael Schumacher is that Jarno Trulli is running about a second and a half slower than David Coulthard, and therefore the speed that Schumacher is capable of running at is also a down about a second and a half. Coulthard's disappearing into the distance. He's seven seconds ahead of Jarno Trulli at this moment. Now, here we go. Through these last two corners, Trulli's a bit more cautious this time. Gets on the power earlier. Look at the lead that David Coulthard has as we look back up that start-finish straight. And Michael Schumacher not close enough on this time to try and take a dive down the inside. He's going to have to pressure Trulli, particularly through Ford. Oh, Trulli's lost a Trulli span. Michael's through. It's all over for Jarno Trulli. The back of the car is damaged. Now Montoya comes down once again looking for that outside line. Can he wait? Can he be patient? Wow, what an amazing race we're watching in the early stages. Trulli's car. Safety car's got to come out, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm surely out. we'll see the safety car <laughs> coming out. Oh, I'm on oh, oh, oh. How much wider do you want to go? He was almost on the grass there completely with that car, but he managed to hold it together. And this is great racing, but cool. Now that is interesting. They've got past before they get to the line and all that. I wonder how that one's going to work I'm out. Montoya. Montoya. Montoya attacking to the <laughs> outside. Pass. He's passed them under brakes. Can he get around the corner? He did. What an un unbelievable overtake by the Colombian Montoya been stuck out on Michael Schumacher big time wow what a restart Coulthard off on the grass Montoya takes Schumacher and now these two are at battle once again and the Michelin tyre certainly working well <laughs> under those conditions as Montoya gets past Michael Schumacher gets through the first two corners and now is going to try and pull away from the Ferrari and what of David Coulthard he's stuck behind the two Jaguars let's look again and see coming into turn 15 he locks up that inside front that? wheel yeah. suddenly he's got he can't slow the car down he, I don't believe David Coulthard you've got the greatest chance of your career to yeah, win a I Grand did. Prix here in Australia and you blow it like that. Oh, that is such a disappointment. He's still in the race, but look, he's behind yeah, his teammate now, Kimi Raikkonen, and he's dangerous. dropped to fifth position. <laughs> Irvine up into third place in the Jag. He's not going to be able to live for the pace of these lead two. We know that Jaguar has not got the performance at the moment, but he is in third place and Irvine will desperately try and hold on to that. What a result that would be if they can hold on. Long, long way to go in this race. Only uh, the 11 laps been completed so far and what drama we've seen. And we've got the battle that everyone's been talking about on the lead up to this season. Montoya versus Michael Schumacher. And, I mean, what an unbelievable pass. Montoya did get a better run off turn 16.
There's a little over a second and a bit between them. Here we can see again what a brilliant bit of overtaking by Montoya. Michael Schumacher went to the inside, blocked, but Montoya's still on the gas when Michael's off it. He locks up a break. Look at, look at. Goodness, there's so much going on. Sato keeping out of the way of that one. Only just that given Michael Schumacher a chance to close up to Montoya. They're only <laughs> right under the rear wing of Montoya as they come out of that last corner on to start finish straight. Can uh, he do anything? Look at the acceleration. Important to see. Well, BMW there certainly seem to have the edge. They've got a superior top speed. This is one of the, what's the fact, it's the quickest part of the racetrack. The cars in qualifying were doing something like 300 and well. In the case of Ralph Schumacher, 310. Montoya was doing 309. Michael Schumacher was only doing 306. So at that part of the track, the advantage clearly lies with the Williams. But Ferrari running is probably more downforce. Is able to close up in the corner. He's got more corner grip. Look at that fantastic view that we have access to right over the rear wing of Montoya's car looking oh, back oh, oh, oh. at Michael Schumacher oh, and this is what it's all about the two top drivers battling wheel to wheel as we've seen already in this race Schumacher is not being dropped at all by Montoya but interestingly the quickest car on the circuit right now is the man that threw the lead away in turn 15 and that's David Coulthard making amends for that appalling error well, let's see what he can do by the end of this race. His teammate Kimi Raikkonen is in third place. Coulthard himself in fourth. Irvine in fifth. De La Rosa sixth. The way of fence, but in doing so, he's compromising. But look, Michael Schumacher trying to position himself to get a run off turn 16 to do what Montoya did to Schumacher. Schumacher is looking to repay that present, but he's not got enough momentum. Now, on the power once again, it should be the BMW, although look at this, he picked up a bit of a toe here, having a little look down the inside, but not close enough. John, what we saw last year, I wonder if that's coming in, the Michelin tyre often worked very well initially, went through a little bit of a patch where it wasn't so quick, and then came in again. I wonder if we're going to see that happen this season. Well, I think also what's occurring is that because they've now run a number of laps, or into lap, it's 40 or 44 laps remaining at 58, the tyre temperature has built up, it's now operating probably in its operating zone and that's giving Montoya that little bit of extra grip that he may not have had but also it's preventing Michael Schumacher getting a good